Well, hello to all of our gold viewers here today. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Director of Communications and MC here at Gold Learning. Well, today I'm sitting down with a very special guest, Dr. Erin Bell. She is here with us today and she's going to be talking about her presentation helping birth partners struggling with trauma. And we're gonna be talking about that in just a moment, but I'm very excited not only to introduce Erin to you, but of course our up and coming gold conference. That's right, we have a new conference for you, Gold Birth and Beyond 2020. And of course you can find all the details online at goldbirthandbeyond.com. Welcome Erin, it's great to have you here today. Thank you, it's lovely to be here. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely to have you here. And, uh, you know, that's one of the great things about technology that we can talk about is that it does bring people together from all over the world. And and I mention that because I know that uh, we do not live close together by any means. And no, so I would, <laughs> I would love it if you would introduce uh, your, where you reside and what it looks like for you there today. Mm, so I'm in the Macedon Ranges, which is in Victoria. So Southern Australia, I'm in a teeny tiny town. We've got less than 2000 people and we are just coming into spring, but I'm in the mountains. So it's still that kind of crisp, cool 10 degrees at the moment. It is very <laughs> gray. It is very overcast. Australia wow. is not all sun and kangaroos. I can tell you. <laughs> Well, I know that you are in quite you're in quite a remote area uh, where you live. Have you always lived there um, as as far as when you have you grown up there or where where were you before? No, so I'm from an even more remote place called Tasmania, which often gets left off the map of Australia. So right down the bottom, teeny tiny island. And as lots of people do when they're in their twenties, they migrate to the mainland, as people like to call it for work and so I lived in the very hustling, bustling, vibrant place that was St Kilda, mm -hmm. uh, but it was not super kid friendly. And, you know, as you do, you try and think, oh, I might buy a house and I'd like, you know, some chickens and all of that <laughs> sort of thing. So no, we moved out to the country, but it's not super, super far. It's only 50 minutes from Melbourne, but it feels remote enough without being out in the outback as too you guys far like to call it yeah not yeah. too far not too far okay so now we've got a picture of uh we know where you are in the world we've got a picture of what it looks like so perhaps you want to introduce yourself and talk a little bit about what your practice looks like and what you do there in your hometown mm, so it's all changed <laughs> at the moment with covid i have mostly been at home with two small children but before all of that I trained as a clinical and perinatal psychologist, so I do work with mostly women and their partners who are trying to get pregnant, are pregnant, have had babies. I train and supervise other clinical psychologists to learn mm. to be psychologists. I do book writing. I have a couple of courses out. That's the main things that I do at the moment is run my two birth trauma courses and I'm finishing up my birth trauma book. And that's about all I can squeeze into half a day of work at the moment. Right. Yes. Busy, busy life at home for you right now. And of course, lots of changes uh, moving everything online. Erin, uh, what were some of the reasons why you moved into this particular area? Because this is this is a I mean, this is a really, um, I would say, an area that comes with some challenges. Um, I mean, a lot of folks do struggle and end up with trauma. But what draws a person like you to this area? Hmm. Oh, Fiona, I never wanted to be the poster girl for birth trauma. I have tried to resist it a few times in my life, but the universe just kept pulling me back in. So I always worked in the perinatal area clinically right. with mm -hmm. birth trauma as it was in postnatal depression and anxiety. But when I had my own babies, I had two traumatic births myself. And that was, wow. you know, despite a doula and hypnobirthing and planning and knowing well what my birth rights were and all of the things that comes with white western privilege I still had two traumatic births and mm. I suppose for me part of the frustration that I knew I had and my doula had and everybody else who was in that room with me particularly the second time I had a massive five kilo baby with severely stuck shoulders so that's about mm. 11 pound throat if you're trying to do the <laughs> conversion in I'm not a particularly big person I'm five four and I just grow massive babies and she mm. got very very stuck on the way out and I coped pretty well with it but I thought you know where there is this 
ability, I suppose, and knowledge, there is a responsibility. So I thought, well, if not me, then who's going to do it? So this is kind of what I've channeled some of my energy into in the last two and a half years. Right. So um, first of all, you know, I, I'm sorry that it happened to you, you know, and I recognize that, um, you know, that it was it was a, a devastating time. Um, but you've taken that energy and what you've learnt um, and what you knew prior um, and really turned it around so that you can provide the care for others. Can you tell me just briefly, uh, uh, what's the type of client that would seek you out? I mean, it, it, because trauma is a very wide, I find a very wide ranging and a lot of people talk about traumatic uh, situations, traumatic births today, but it, it is there other clients that would seek you out? Who does uh, want to come and talk to you, Erin? It's a mixture at the moment. So this last year, more especially, it's mostly been birth workers. So midwives, doulas, maternal child health nurses, lactation consultants, because honestly, those people are the first responders, as I like right. to call them. It's not typically a psychologist that somebody mm -hmm. sees first off the bat. Like, I do not swoop in with my magic cape to a hospital and say, right. this is what you've got, I'm here for you. I'm usually third, fourth, fifth, sometimes even fifth or sixth down the line mm -hmm. um, because most families are not even using that word at the beginning, trauma. They don't even know that this is a thing yet. They will say, right. I've had a birth that was scary or it was bad or it mm. might be a midwife or a doula going, that was just, I, I, don't, even, I don't even have words for that. And there is a real lack of training in our birth workers. It's not something that is a huge component part of our learning. And I think it's so important for people mm -hmm. to realize that your own trauma, your own personal trauma, whether you mm -hmm. like it or not, is coming into that birth room. Yes, that is so true. And I'm so glad that you talked me through that because often when we talk about perinatal trauma today or birth trauma, it is very much focused perhaps on Ju uh, the, not just, but the parents, you know, that's because as care providers, I'm a doula myself, um, you know, we don't always take the time to process what has happened to us. And I, I have to say and be honest with you, Erin, that, you know, I've been through some very challenging births and haven't really had the outlet that I wished I could have had, um, you know, even though I'm trained, we're, we're trained also to, to get support and help, but it's really hard to find it, Erin. And and sometimes mm. we're so busy as well, you know, we just haven't had the opportunity, um, you know, to to sit down with folks that really understand it. So you're you're quite the gift in the field, I have mm -hmm. to say, um, you know, in terms of, of care and and, uh, you know, support. Um, so I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, and of course, this leads us right into your uh, your presentation that you're going to be talking about at Gold Birth and Beyond. And again, I'm just going to read the title for everyone again. Um, so this is Aaron, uh, Dr. Erin Bow's presentation, Helping Birth Partners Struggling with Trauma. So we have shifted the lens a little bit um, to look at what the person who is in the room um, is, what, what has happened to them. What a great perspective. So again, you know, can you just tell us sort of what, what should we expect coming to this presentation? And just, just a snippet, because of course we, we, we're gonna come and listen to it, but just talk me through a couple of things. Hmm. So at least over the last couple of years, this is a question that pops up all the time. People either email me or they ask me in groups, what can I do to get partners to get help? And so there is a trick to that question, which I will talk about in the presentation, all the things, all the steps that we sometimes bypass and forget about that are important in terms of what what is support, how do people get it, what does it look like, what does coping look like? And I think also understanding that you know, birth is left off pretty much every single infographic that there is about trauma. And when we talk about vicarious trauma, so the person watching something unfold, if you talk about police, paramedics, people who deal with death and dying and finding bodies and all sorts of horrible things, people nod and they go, yes, that would yes. be horrific. But birth, people sort of just go, oh, well, it wasn't really happening to you. You shouldn't complain. There is a real strong cultural narrative at the moment that it's mostly supposed to be about the baby and the birthing person, which it is, which is important, but also 
the body doesn't know, the brain doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imagined. And something that you watch happening to someone else can be just as oof, impactful landing in your own body. Wow. I'm, I'm just absorbing everything that you've just uh, said to me. And boy, it's, it's a whole processing <laughs> event that happens again. So I guess it really in coming to you, uh, be prepared. Uh, we're going to go through some really, uh, perhaps sometimes some rich, intense things as well, but also a learning curve of, of how we can move forward in this area and how we can support partners and get them to the point where um, they we can get them the help that they need. And also just recognizing it as professionals, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and growth is actually the most important, exciting part of what I do, which is not about getting your pom-poms and going, oh, I'll be positive two seconds after the event. But the thing that's fascinating is just how much people can find strength and a new outlook on life and soar much mm. higher than they ever did before in spite of the thing that happened. I would right. prefer I didn't have the traumatic births, but right. because of that, yes. here's a whole yeah. bunch of personal characteristics and strengths that are now, I didn't know I was that strong. I really yeah. didn't before I yeah. birthed. Excellent. So you can take that strength and put it into lots of other places. Well, thank you, Erin. That was wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm so looking forward to your presentation. Um, I'm going to be there and I know that we're going to have our delegates uh, participating uh, in this event as well. So I will look forward to hearing from them as well, posting in the forums. Um, and if you've got any comments uh, for Erin as well, you can also pop them uh, down below and we can talk about them online. I think it's really good to give people space and opportunity always to talk about these things because they are uh, difficult things and uh, difficult things um, you know need to be spoken um, about as well so thank you so much to Dr Erin Bao for being with us here today and sitting down and talking about this really important topic thank you Erin thank you pleasure and thank you so much to all of our delegates for listening in. Uh, it's always good to have you here. And don't forget that this presentation, along with many others, are going to be at our Gold Birth and Beyond Conference 2020. It's right around the corner here, and we can't wait to see you online there. You can check out all the details online at goldbirthandbeyond.com. Thank you once again. Bye-bye, everyone.